Well, good afternoon, everybody. I am exhausted. Um, went back, cleaned up the property of where we were. Uh, basically, we got free firewood and logs, and they got a free yard cleanup and uh, tree removal. And I'll tell you what, now I understand why tree removal service is so expensive, because well, if you've got a crew and you've got machines and equipment over there, now he used his tractor to load my trailer, so that helped a lot. But if you've got a big crew to pay and you've got equipment and stuff, heavy equipment and insurance, um, tree removal service is no joke. Well, I very much respect that. So, we got a load. We got 11 logs this time on the trailer. A um, little bit more than last time. And we got a mess of oak on the truck to unload. We load it until the tires squish a little bit. And that's it. This is heavy, wet oak. So we can't load it as much as with pine. This is a mix of pine and oak. So we put more on. There was one a little bit smaller. That's the small end. The other end's bigger. But... You know, it was, I figured I could get a couple 2x4s out of there, maybe. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. But, there's a good load of logs. There's some, uh, some good wood here that I can process. What do I have? Do I have oak on here? That's pine, pine, pine. There's one oak, two oaks. There's two oaks, and the rest is all pine on this load. Yeah, well, I uh, I need to get it off. I need the truck tomorrow morning. I really don't feel like it, but I gotta get this done. I'm not gonna record because it's not gonna be pretty. I'm just gonna dump it uh, quick and ugly and get it done. I got them down, that's 10. And now I've got a total of 34 logs for the mill to be processed. Now, I gotta go back Monday, this is the weekend now, and uh, I wanna go back and finish uh, getting a few more logs on Monday. I think there's three, which will put me at 37 logs to process on the mill. Next week I can start, well 38, because I got a little one right there crossways next week I can start running lumber now I've got a forklift I have to go pick up because that's going to help a lot the uh, steering is stiff I've got to redo the gear oil and free that up and that'll help me load my mill and stack these up neatly so that's a gas powered forklift I'll be doing that next week and probably take it with me and show you well, that's it for today guys. I'm exhausted. I know I didn't do much video, but I'm at somebody else's home. And uh, it's all the same. Just hauling logs and firewood. We left the greenhouse and the garden areas covered. It was only 50 some degrees today and it's going to freeze even harder tonight. So I just didn't want to mess with it. We got so much going on with hauling uh, firewood. We're just exhausted. So that, I, um, we left. We'll take care of that tomorrow after the freeze. It's going to get cold, really, really cold tonight. So we'll see what happens. And we'll reveal the plants and see if they lived. Well, this is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. Please like, subscribe, and share, and follow our videos as we strive to become fully self-sufficient and off the grid on a budget. We're going to be producing our own lumber and heating our own home with our own firewood. That's self-sufficiency. Good night.